So in order to download PyCharm, first of all, you should search PyCharm download in the Google, and you can see the first link is from JetBrains company, which is at the company of PyCharm. So right click on it and open that in a new tab. Now you can see the latest version of PyCharm is 2022.2.3. And here we can see that we have two versions, the professional version and the community version. And this community version is free and we want to install this version. So I click on it. And here in this page, we should wait for the download prompt. And suppose that I want to download this file in this location, so I press save, and I should wait for the download process. So after downloading the PyCharm, in order to install that, we should right click on it, and we should click on run as administrator. And here you should press next, and once again, you should press next. And remember that the install location of PyCharm is not that important. The install location of Python itself is important, but the install location of PyCharm is not important. So press next. And here I don't want to check none of these, but if you want to check, for example, if you want to create desktop icon, you can check this one. And for example, if you want to open all the Python files with the .py extensions with PyCharm, you can check this one as well, but I don't want to do so. So I don't want to check any of these. So I press next and here I press install and I should wait for the installation process. So that's it. You can see that installation was successful. So I want to run PyCharm. So I check this one and I press the finish button. And here I don't want to import anything. So I click on this and I press OK. Now I want to create a new project, so I should click on this new project. And here I should specify the name of my project. So for example, I want to name that YouTube, that's an arbitrary name. And here I should choose this one, previously configured interpreter, and add interpreter, add local interpreter. And here I should choose existing environment, and I should click on this three dots, and I should specify the path of my interpreter, of my Python interpreter. So if you remember in previous video, we have installed Python in this location, and we have said that this file, I mean python.exe, which is the Python interpreter, is a very important file, which we needed, for example, for PyCharm, and also if you want to install other IDEs, you need this file as well. So I should copy this location, I mean the install location of Python, and then I should go to PyCharm, and here I should paste that location, and in this folder, you can see we have a file called python.exe, which is the Python interpreter. So I should choose that and I should press OK. And once again, I should press OK. And here, because I don't want to create any welcome scripts and etc., so I want to uncheck this one and I press the create button. And let's maximize PyCharm. And here we can see this prompt, so I click on more, and I don't want to show this again, so I click on this. And also we can see that this prompt says Windows Defender might impact performance, and it suggests us to exclude directories. And because I want to do so, I click on this, exclude directories, and because I want to do all this stuff automatically, I click on configure automatically. That's it, and I should wait for indexing processes. So as you can see, the indexing processes has been finished. And here we can see the project panel, which for example, if you click on it, it will be closed. And if you click on it again, it will be open. And in order to create a Python file, I should right click on this folder, which is our project folder. You can see that the name of our project is YouTube. So I should right click on this and I should create a new Python file. And for example, I want to name that code 01 and I press enter. And you can see here is our Python file. So I can start typing. So I simply type print because I want to, for example, print, for example, five times eight, that's it. But as you can see, the font size is very small. So we can change that. So I go to file, then settings. And here you can see that in the appearance and behavior, it can change the theme. For example, if you want to change that to Windows 10 Lite, you can do so. But if you want to choose the dark theme, you can choose this one. And also, if I want to change the font size, so let's go to the editor section, and you can see it has a subsection called font, 
And in this subsection, you can change the font size. For example, suppose that I want to change that to 30, and I press OK, and now you can see the font is bigger. And now in order to run this code, I should right click in the middle of the editor, and I should press run code 01, and remember code 01 is the name of our code. So let's click on that. And you can see here is the output. And if I want to create another Python file, that's very easy. I can right click on this new Python file, code 02, and I can start typing. That's it. And in order to run this code, I should right click in the middle of the editor and I should run the code. And you can see here is the output. And if we want to open the project folder, so I should right click on this and I should open that in Explorer. And that's it, you can see that the name of our project is YouTube, so I should double click on it in order to open that. And you can see that these are the codes which we have created. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.